Well, hello out there to all my fellow Styron users and abusers. This is George coming to you from Kitchen Table Scale Models. And uh, this week I'm actually at my kitchen table, um, which is again where I do the bulk of my building. Uh, here today to unveil my uh, entry into the um, Blue Ox model shops street machine group build um uh, and uh, this kit uh subject is a is a 69 um uh, dodge dart gts 383 uh, i built it kind of as a day two car if you will with some simple basic mods the kinds of things that uh if i took delivery of this car in 1969 uh, the kinds of things I probably would have gone out and done as soon as I, right away, before I got into any serious heavy modifications. Uh, modifications from stock include uh, all the wheels and tires, a um, little dress-up kit on the engine, chrome, chrome valve covers, and uh, I used a uh, Protec air cleaner, uh, which I polished with some semi-chrome polish. Um, Traction bars on the back uh, to give it to give it a little bit of a rake. I used the because um, these these cars back in '69 or '70. One of the first things you would have done is jacked up the back end. Um, I used the uh, super stock springs that came in the '68 uh, uh, Hemi Dart kit. Um, not exactly prototypical for a GTS, but. Um, it's a narrow rear end that let me get those big tires under there. And you know, it's, it's a look I'm going for. Uh, the kit itself is a Revell, the Revell GTS kit. Again, I really, uh, I enjoyed building this kit tremendously. Um, color is uh, Dodge B5 bright blue from uh, scale finishes. Um, that's all I have left. Um, and it's cleared with their honey gold uh, clear coat, which I really liked. It worked very well. Um, it was a fun build. Um, I, I don't remember where the wheels came from. That might have come from uh, another dark kit or maybe the uh, one of the Nova kits. Um, things I've added to it uh, include, I used uh, best model car parts gauge panel inside um, yeah pretty much a straightforward build uh, one thing I really do like the way it came out I really like the uh, I really like the Lakewood traction bars out there from uh, replicas and miniatures of Maryland Norm Weber if you uh, if you don't know Norm's stuff you really should Norm was a pioneer in the resin casting business a great modeler and uh, a good guy uh, he actually founded my model car club, Maryland Automotive Modelers Association. Um, this is probably one of my, uh, I almost want to call it one of my best builds, or at least certainly one of my best builds since, uh, since I started building again a couple years ago. A uh, lot of fun, beautiful car. And I chose this one for a reason. Um, if you look at the thumb thumbnail, there's a picture of a 69 Dart. Swinger 340 in this color uh, with some young dude hanging around next to it. Um, and that was my first car, and that young dude is me. Uh, somewhere around uh, night, July of 1970, I guess, uh, or 1969, um, I got that car new. I started out wanting to build kind of a replica of that car. Um, I actually chopped up another GTS body using the rear trunk panel from a 68 Hemi Dart kit, which did not have that chrome trim on it. Um, and then started trying to remove the chrome wheel arch moldings and the chrome trim down the rocker panel, basically trying to decontent it back to the level of a Swinger 340. And uh, it just wasn't working out. I, I wasn't happy with the way the, the the way the moldings came off, and it just didn't look right to me. And I wasn't feeling it. So I thought, you know what? Okay, 
I loved my Swinger 340, but you know what? As much as I loved that car and as much as I appreciated it, um, I really would have wouldn't have minded having a 383 car, even though uh, the 340 cars, in many cases, depending on how they were geared, are actually quicker off the line. But anyway, um, so I decided what I was going to do is let, let's do a let's do a 383 car because um, that's kind of what I really would have liked to have had. I guess the the big the big difference between the the GTS and the um, Swinger 2 was uh, the interior. The Swinger Swinger 340 interior was it was bare bones basic. The car looked like a six cylinder Dart, um, except for the exhaust, the dual exhausts, and the, the hood vents. But uh, yeah, so this is it. Um, I want to thank Jason Hanscom for uh, for doing this group build. This one, for some reason, I had a I had a little bit of a mind block on this one. Um, was actually watching. Um, Luca and BG last night on online, and Luca was talking about um, getting a getting a model to a point where you're kind of seeing the finished product in your mind, um, and and you're just having a hard time motivated to finish it. And that's kind of where I was with this. I I, I once it started coming together, I, quite frankly, I was I was. There are some flaws with this, but I, overall, I was so happy with it that uh, it's like, oh God, do I, do I want to keep going? I'm afraid I'll screw something up. You know, I'd rather it, it's almost you know better better to have a 90% complete model that looks good than a 100% complete model that uh, you know doesn't look good. Um, I do like the way this kit came out. Um, one thing about it that's uh, I guess one issue, I have a big scratch on that trunk lid that you can't see, or you can't see at this angle, but, um, um, excuse the peanut gallery in the background, my, my dog sees somebody outside the, out the front window of the house and are letting me know that leaves are falling or something. Um, well, I'm hitting a point now where I'm going to bab I'm babbling and I see no need to babble. Uh, this is it. Ravel 69 Dark Kit. This is the first, um, interestingly enough, this is the first what I'll call New Age Ravel Kit. Um, I know that sounds funny because this kit's probably been out 20 years or more. Um, this is the, the only Ravel Kits I've ever built before this have been some of the older ones. Um, I, I think I did, the, I did the Henry J uh, not that long ago. Uh, and you know, that's one of the old school fiddly kits. Uh, this kit went together very well. Um, I, I mean, that engine compartment is tight, but everything just fit. The one thing I did have to do to get that air cleaner to work, um, there's no carburetor under there. Um, I just, I, I glued it right down on the manifold so I can get the, get the hood closed. Um, the exhaust tips, uh, they're not metal, although I was tempted to do them in metal. Um, what I did with the exhaust was uh, mask it off, painted painted the pipes and the mufflers, then masked everything, and I hit those exhaust tips with uh, Revell chrome paint. Uh, I know there's a lot of other chrome paints out there that people swear by. I, frankly, I I've used the Revell and I love it. Um, I've seen some post people complaining that it doesn't dry too too quickly, and I can tell you what I've done is I will. Anytime I hit something with that Revell paint, I'll put it in my dehydrator, um, set it for 10 hours, set it for 105 degrees, and uh, come back the next morning, and you can't even rub that paint off with your finger. I mean, it's 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 down. So this is it. Um, 69 Dodge Dart GTS 383 um, with some little dress-up and hop-up pieces. Um, Wanted to do it with a 446 pack with headers. I really wasn't happy with any of the air cleaner solutions I, I find for a 446 pack. Um, and couldn't find headers for a 440 anywhere. There is an absolute lack of aftermarket pieces. I can get headers for Fords and Sh Chevys all day long. Uh, from 3D printers and resin casters, but nobody's doing anything for 440s. 
but that's okay. That's yeah, 383 looks like a 440 from the outside. And I was actually tempted to put a put the six pack manifold on this, but again, I just I you know I just, I just didn't like the way it was looking, and uh, you know so here we go. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, Again, shout out to Jason Hanscom for doing this group build. Uh, I'm going to be on to the next group build, which is the uh, USAC Unified Scale Auto Content Creators uh, 55 Ford group build. Um, if that one comes out half as good as this, I'll be thrilled. I'm, I'm frankly a little daunted by it because it's probably the most complex build I've attempted, uh, certainly since I got back building uh, just a little less than three years ago, or about three years ago. So, um, yeah, keep watching these videos if you choose to. Um, if you like it, please press like. If you like it a lot, please subscribe and you get to see more. And, um, you know, if you don't like it, you know, go watch somebody else. Uh, don't give me a thumbs up.